first, I want to say happy 2021. I'm so happy, guys, about this year, mainly because, you know, I have some goals that I've written down that I want to accomplish this year. Um, I say last year for me has been very, I say, somewhat different than what others has been experiencing. Of course, my job um, sent us home. We, and we have been working from home since March of last year. And since then, I have received a new job. And now I moved to a new state. And, you know, you know, feeling really peaceful about this move and everything because I really need it. And, you know, I'm glad that I made a decision to move here. Now, I moved here from Jackson, Mississippi to Little Rock, Arkansas. So both the states are like right next door to each other. But I feel like this sense of peace here that I feel like this is a better fit for me being here at this stage of my life. So I'm happy about it. So back to last year. Last year really... I would say the events that were happening didn't too much affect my life, but it really did open my eyes up to certain things in my life. And mainly because I do need to learn how to take care of me. So I do want to touch on three things that I was thinking about concerning this topic, because I think it is really important to value yourself, um, especially for this year. You know, that's one of my goals, what I'm going to be doing, because I am the type of person that, I choose people's feelings over my purpose. I'm just going to just put that as the bottom line. Like I know the purpose God has for me, but I choose to be around people that do not align with that. That if I know I'm supposed to be a Christian, supposed to be showing those values and living that life, I will be around people that don't show that and don't have that. Or I engage or entertain people or guys that really do not have my best interests in mind. So this year, I want to really just concentrate on those areas and just come out of that mindset of thinking that I need to just attach to just anybody and really value my time, my resources, and the relationships that I want to form and that it's going to be life given to me and you know relationships that I know that God will be pleased with. So the first thing I was thinking about is time. I must learn how to value my time. If I want to learn how to value myself, I must learn how to appreciate the time that I have been given on this earth and use that time to really walk out my purpose. And I know for me I am the biggest one of the biggest procrastinators I know. Because I would set out, you know, I'll write out goals and really would not put the time in for it. I'll either talk myself out of it, you know, discourage myself, compare myself to what other folks are doing and not really just concentrating on what I haven't given to do. And also I have to think about the time that I spent with people that I have to value my time when it comes to who needs to be in my life and who needs to go. I cannot give my time out to everybody. Everybody is not meant to be in my life. There are some people that are meant to help me grow. And there are some people that are here to help me lose. (laughs) If I could just say it like that. So I have to discern who comes to my life. And have to know who is of God and who is of the devil. So just that's the bottom line. So the next thing I was thinking about is resources. I need to value the resources that I have. And when I think about resources, I am talking about my talents and gifts that I need to appreciate those things and learn how to grow, grow them. Because, you know, I think about the story with the, the men with the talents, you know, these you know, his their master have left them these talents and they are responsible for taking care of them, growing them, expanding them. And you had one that did not do that. He buried his talent. Now, that story, it hits different for me now because I'm thinking that, you know what, I have to do what God gave me to do. He gave me these talents. I'm responsible for them. He just didn't give it to him, to me for me to waste them. Because if you notice at the end of that parable, the master came back for those gifts. You know, he came back for his investments. And they all got rewarded based on what they did with those investments. So the things that God has placed inside you, you know, make sure that he gets a great return on those investments because, yes, we are held accountable for those things and we do have to answer God for those things. You know, he gave us these different talents for us to impact the world. 
So the last thing I want to leave y'all with is learning how to value relationships. For me on this year, I want to pay really close attention to who, to who I allow my life. Because if I value myself, then I need to pick people, you know, who's going to value me the same way, who really do care about my purpose and who wants to see me win. In addition to that, also, I need to start investing more in my relationship with God. Because when I get to know God better, then I'll have better discernment and who needs to be in my life and who I need to let go. And this is something I'm struggling with right now because, of course, you know, when God tells me to let go of somebody, I, you know, I just say, hey, you know, I don't think I need to. I need this person. They made me feel a certain way. And the truth is, it's causing torture, you know, within my spirit and my soul because by being involved with that person, it's breaking me down even further. My issues that I'm struggling with are being magnified in that situation with them. And I have to learn how to just trust God and let it go. So my relationship with God has to be a top priority because when I start to get to know him more, I get to see myself the way he sees me. And of course, you know, last couple of years, my relationship with God has fell off. But this year, I purpose to start building back up my relationship with him. You know, I actually put that on my vision board for this year. It's one of my goals. And I want to really have that down to earth relationship with God where I can just talk to him about anything and really just enjoy it with him. So I hope y'all got something out of this video. If you have or if you want to share something that's going on in your life, any goal that you have, just put in the comments below. I would love to chat with you. See y'all later.